Peace and power to the true and living. What's good, fam? It's Seaborn, I see for son, and I am you. Yo, I got this reflection I need to share. And I titled this one, How Do You Know? Because that's a question that people always ask me whenever we're, in, uh, we're having a conversation and I'm putting them on some deep shit. You know what I'm saying? That question always follows. How do you know this? And I think what it is for the most part is humanity, we've been, <clears throat> the, the truth has been distorted and hidden from us for so many years, for thousands of years. And at the same time, we have been indoctrinated and dehumanized and conditioned to where now we're just in a state of utter confusion. You know what I'm saying? This confusion is reaching a culminating point. And as a result, a lot of people, you know, adopt a mentality that we just, you know, we're not meant to know. We're not meant to know the truth about life, about creation, about ourselves, about God, you know, about all these mysteries of, of, of creation and human existence. We're not meant to know. We're not meant to have the answer to all these uh, questions that we ask. You know what I'm saying? It, we're not meant to know and we... It's not possible for us to know. So many people adopt that mentality. Many people just don't care. You know what I mean? And then some think that we're going to find out only after we die. That you have to die in order to discover truth. Which is not true and doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? But that's only because this Luciferian deception, this work of Lucifer... You know what I mean? As I have mentioned before, is is very deep and multi-layered. Onyx, please leave me alone. You can't come on my lap right now. I'm working. So please, please. That's my cat. She bugs the mess out of me. But anyway, so the point is, we're so damn confused that we think that it's not possible for us to have the truth. That we think that we have to live in obscurity and darkness and confusion. You know what I mean? And so what happens is that we've, we've also gotten to a point where everything that we consider to be true and right have to come from, you know, a source of authority. So if I'm not like a famous author or spiritual teacher or spirit channeler or scientist or a doctor you know, or someone who, ha who has a lot of money, whatever the case is, if not one of those accepted sources, then, you know, you get ignored or whatever you're saying is not true. It must not be true because if it was true, then, um, you know, you'll be rich and famous and everybody, everybody will know who you are and shit like that. You know what I mean? So with all that, it becomes very difficult for many people to discover the truth because they're lost in this matrix but it's not because the truth is not is not uh accessible to us you know it's not because we don't have access to the truth we have access to the truth is right at our fingertips you know what i mean but the the luciferian deception has worked very well and it's still working so that's why when I speak with people, they always ask me, how do you know? And then a lot of people, of course, you know, will attack me and shit like that. Matter of fact, not too long ago, I was on Facebook. I'm not on Facebook anymore. I got rid of that account. I'm telling you, man, I struggle with my presence on social media because I have deleted my Facebook account. I think this is about the third time. And I think this is the final time. I'm not going back to that shit. But I struggle with my parents on social media because... I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't, I wish 
I wish all this shit could be done away with, man. And I mean, I wish to a certain extent we can kind of go back. Because I think what happened is that technology, you know what I'm saying, has advanced way faster than human beings have developed spiritually. You know what I'm saying? Like spiritually, we're, we're dumb. You know what I'm saying? We're dumb as hell spiritually. But our technology has advanced, you know what I'm saying, light years ahead of us spiritually. So now you're taking this this powerful thing and, and you, you're putting it in our hands. You know what I'm saying? So it does nothing but damage. All the it's always created under, you know, the pretense that it's gonna make us better. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna improve life. It's gonna bring us closer together. But it always ends ends up doing the very opposite because we are not spiritually advanced enough for this. You know what I'm saying? This is something that was our take. We were supposed to be more advanced than our technology we are supposed to be the technology ourselves not creating substitute you know what i'm saying so i struggle with my presence on social media and just with technology in general you know what i mean but anyway so there was this post i need to hurry up and make my point because i'm talking too much and i might run out of time I want to keep this under 10 minutes. Anyways, so there was a post on Facebook that said that was somebody was responding to something I said. I, I wrote a, uh, a message on my Facebook page saying, you know, that we need to stop worshiping the universe and thinking the universe and shit like that because the universe did not create itself. And when you're worshiping the universe or thinking the universe is no different than when you're uh, praying to a wooden uh carving or to a stone statue it's, it's idolatry so somebody responded to my post and said you know well man uh man created god you know what i'm saying this this thing that we call god was created by man you know what i'm saying and the way this person broke it down was their their logic is everything that we know you know what i'm saying we know from another man you know what I mean? So whatever it is that you know about God or Lucifer, you learn from a book. You know what I'm saying? And who writes books? Men write books, writes books. You know what I'm saying? Human beings write books. You know what I'm saying? So everything that we have learned about God and Lucifer and creation and da 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 da, you know what I'm saying? It's been from man. So therefore, this God that we speak of was created by man. This is the logic in which this person was trying to refute my uh, assertion that praying to the universe is idolatry, that we should pray to the, the creator and thank the creator, not the universe, because the universe is just a, the material and smallest part of creation. So this is the logic that that person was using to refute my assertion. And, and that's one of the reasons why I even decided to make this video, because I was like, damn, you know, it, it sounds crazy, but that's that's really the mentality that a lot of people have adopted. And sometimes they don't quite articulate it like this, but that's that's what, you know, that's what they believe. I've heard it before and I'm like, damn, that, that's a dangerous way to look at it, because the process of finding truth is, is much more complicated than that. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 not well. It's 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 much more complicated. Let's just say that it's much more complicated than that. The process of of discovering truth, you know what I'm saying, is not as simple as reading a book and learning and memorizing what's in that book. I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. You know what I mean? So when people ask me this question, is I cannot simply answer this question by saying, "Oh, I read it in a book." You know what I'm saying? I can't simply answer that, that question like that because it's, it's, it is much deeper than that. Because the fact is, you and I can read the same book and we'll get two completely different messages from that book. You know what I mean? We will read the same book and get two completely different messages from that book. Because whatever information, whatever message you receive from whatever source, the ultimate de determining factor 
on how you understand and perceive that message, that information is you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the spiritual state in which you are in at the time. You know what I'm saying? That's the ultimate determining factor. And that's the determining factor in discovering truth with a capital T. Is your spiritual state of being. You know what I'm saying? Through your spiritual state of being is ultimately the only way that you're going to be able to discover the truth. So it's never going to be as simple as reading something in a book. I'm sorry. That spiritual laziness is never going to be that simple. It involves more work than that. It, it involves more spiritual straining than that. I'm sorry. It's not as it's not, you know, as simple as, as one may want to make it sound. Oh, let me just read this book. And believe what's in this book and memorize what's in this book and then um i have truth no it doesn't work that way you know what i mean well there goes 10 minutes it's much more complicated than that your intuitive perception your spiritual state of being is ultimately what um you know what helps you discover truth and nothing else everything else are just supplements you know what i mean so when i this is one of the reasons why when i do my videos i always include the disclaimers and i always tell people you must read the grill message for yourself i always include my disclaimer because i don't want people to just hear what i'm saying and believe it and take it and, and and have that be their truth no your truth has to come from within you you know what i mean so it is not as simple as saying uh read the grill message or i got this from the grill message no just because you read the grill message it doesn't mean that you're gonna um discover the truth with a capital T. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean that. Because once again, depending on the spiritual state in which you are in when you read this grill message is what determines what you're get, gonna get from it. So you can very well read the grill message three, four, five times and get absolutely nothing from it. Absolutely nothing. You know what I'm saying? And somebody like me, you know what I'm saying, can read it one time and get everything from it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just giving an example, not saying that I'm better than you or anybody else you know what i mean but that's that's what it is so it's not as simple as saying uh, i got it from the grill message you know what i mean what the grill message is is the grill message think about it like this it's a very special formula and e even in some respects you can say it's an esoteric formula you know what i'm saying that unlocks your intuitive perception, you know what I'm saying, that unlocks the door, that opens the window and allows the light to flow into your consciousness, you know what I'm saying, and through that process, your intuitive perception is awakened, you know what I'm saying, and then you, through yourself, discover the truth with a capital T, you know what I'm saying, and it's not even that you discover the truth, really it's like you awaken to the truth, you know what I'm saying, so the process of discovering truth is not as simple as reading books so for somebody who wants to say uh you know man created god because all the information that man has we discovered uh from books and who writes books man writes writes books i'm sorry it's not that it's not that uh, simple and furthermore we have to consider the fact that um the way uh that that thought forms operate in the way that we are connected you know what i'm saying through other spheres of creation and through other um entities in creation just through our thoughts so a person who writes a book is not alone in writing that book that person you know what i'm saying may very well be connected to higher entities through which they're getting this information so just as so we cannot simply discredit something uh because it's it's in a book but at the same time we cannot simply 
accept uh, something as gospel truth because it's in a book. You know what I mean? Once again, your intuitive perception, your spiritual state of being is that determining factor. Everything else is just supplementary. You know what I'm saying? So this spiritual laziness that a lot of people want to, you know, accept and use as an excuse just does not suffice. So the short answer to this question that everybody's always asking me, how do you know this? I know this through my intuitive perception, through my willingness and longing to know and, and, and discover truth. And all the works that I put forth, you know what I'm saying, in, in, in trying to discover this. And not being afraid to uh, look at something because it's, it's different from what I was uh, told growing up. You know what I mean? So how do I know? I know through my own being. You know what I'm saying? And the grill message was the special formula that ultimately, um, throughout my many years of seeking and searching, the grill message was that formula that unlocked my intuitive perception and allow the light to flow in my conscious. You know what I'm saying? It was the grill message that done that for me. And that's the purpose of the grill message. That's why this, this book is so special for humanity. This is a book. This is a gift. This book is a gift that was given to humanity and came with many sacrifices. You know what I mean? So uh, let me hurry up and wrap this video up before I, I wrap it up. Let me make this last point in, in uh, the, the process of discovering truth. If what you are, if, if what you have discovered is really truth with a capital T, if what you have discovered is really truth, is rooted in truth, is in the light of truth, then it is inevitable that you will, you will uh, arrive at the conviction that you know nothing. If you truly discover truth, you will realize that you know nothing. That's how you know you have truly discovered the truth. But if you have discovered something that has you feeling like you know everything, you know what I mean? And you don't need to listen to anyone. Everybody need to listen to you. You have not discovered the truth. Because truth will only reveal to you that you know nothing. You know what I'm saying? And this is how it works. Simp very, very quickly. We human beings, we originate within creation. You know what I'm saying? So everything that we can know is within creation. And we originate at a certain uh, point in creation. We're not even at the highest part of creation. You know what I'm saying? So say we originate like right here in creation. There is still worlds above us. You know what I mean? And everything that we're able to know and understand consciously lies within our origin the spiritual realm you know what i'm saying so right now we're here in the gross material when we leave the gross material we go to the ethereal then from the ethereal is the animistic and then from the animistic is the spiritual you know what i'm saying but above the spiritual you have the primordial spiritual which are many worlds you know what i'm saying far larger than the spiritual uh world where we originate from so everything that we can know and understand you know what i'm saying um, cannot be a we, we cannot know and understand anything above our point of origin, which is the spiritual. You know what I'm saying? So think about that. So the only knowledge that we can have is within creation. But you, what you must must realize is that the creator, you know what I'm saying, divinity is outside of creation. So think about all that knowledge that lies outside of creation and think about all the knowledge that lies within creation that we don't even have access to, that we cannot possibly have access to because of our point of origin. You know what I'm saying? So if you have truly discovered truth, you will arrive at this conviction 
that you know nothing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I gotta go and stop this video. I mean, I wanna, I wanna keep talking more shit because like it's just flowing right now, but I, it's, it's already gone a little longer than I anticipated. So I gotta go ahead and stop it. But yeah, man, this, that's, that's how you know. That's how I know. You know what I mean? For all the people ask me, how do I know? This is how I know through my intuitive perception, through my willingness to seek and search for the truth. You know what I'm saying? And anyways, that's it. That's it. So with that being said, peace and power to the true and living, the seaborn, I see for son, and I am you. Yeah.